Airbnb hosts have graciously laid on an amazing breakfast, a proper spread, which is great because we now need to haul our butts over to Cradle Mountain to do a spot of hiking. Now that we're all fueled up, let's get going. After a 40 minute drive, we've come to the visitor center where we purchased day passes. The adult day pass is 28 Australian dollars and it does include a free shuttle bus. Now, in order to get to any of the hikes, you actually need to go on the shuttle bus. So it's kind of mandatory. And if you already have a national parks pass, then you would have to buy a separate shuttle pass, which is $15 per person. The intention for today is to start out here at Ronnie Creek, which I think is meant to be a shuttle bus station. And then the intention is to take the overland track all the way here, past Crater Lake, up to Marion's Lookout. And then rather than go straight back the way we came, the intention is to then come down here via Wombat Pool and Lake Lilla to then get picked up by the shuttle bus at Dove Lake. steps to get to the top which is apparently Marion's lookout. After an hour and 20 minutes of hiking we have finally made it to Marion's lookout. After three and a bit hours of walking up and down all various kinds of terrains, we are now finished up at Cradle Mountain and honestly, it was pretty awesome. It felt like we were able to really explore all manner of different parts of the park. We got to technically climb up a mountain for a bit as well. And we got incredible views from pretty much everywhere we could possibly muster of other peaks, lakes, and yeah, I think all around it was just a really good time. But it was kind of weird because had you told me that what we were seeing was actually Scotland and not Australia, I would have probably been like, yeah, that, that sounds about right. But I feel like it's been that way for a lot of Australia in the sense we're like, oh, this reminds me of Vancouver Island. Oh, this reminds me of Toronto. They just have 
such diverse landscape across the entire country. But I agree with you that the landscape we saw today was absolutely stunning. Just sweeping panoramic views of mountains and lakes. It was a moderately challenging hike, I would say. A lot of it was flat and on just man-made boardwalk. But even when you had stairs, a lot of it was man-made wooden stairs. And then, of course, you just had a lot of rocks mixed in, tree roots sprinkled throughout the terrain. The steep parts, what did they last? Maybe like two minutes to at most 20 minutes? I yeah. mean, we did the summit to Marion's Lookout, which they said would take 30 minutes in 20. So none of it was that bad. That's why I say moderately challenging. Yeah, I would say that kind of that last bit to take us up to Marion's Point would kind of resemble like either quite steep inclined steps or possibly bouldering. Mm -hmm. But really the rest of it was pretty straightforward. Yeah, steps or boardwalks really for the most part. And I'm so happy with the route we decided to take today because if you're anything like us and you have limited time, the route that we took enabled us to see Cradle Lake, I don't know if it's Lila or Leela Lake, Dove Lake, as well as the summit of Cradle Mountain, and I feel like we got a really good overview of the entire park. Absolutely, and it was kind of fun because actually on the way back, because the weather started clearing up a little bit, then we got to see some wombats as well. Unfortunately, we weren't on the right side of the bus to actually get good recordings of it, so sorry about that, but that officially checks that off of our wildlife list for Australia, and we've seen quite a lot of stuff. So um, yeah, if you're curious as to what those things are, then feel free to check out our other Australia videos for that. But maybe we'll see some wombats on the drive back to Hobart now. We could get lucky. Yeah, let's hope so. Speaking of, it is now going to be probably about a four plus hour drive to get back to Hobart because we now need to drop our car off and then we're going to probably get an Uber on to our accommodation for the night because unfortunately this is our last full day in Australia. Kind of sad to see it go. This has been an absolutely incredible journey and we have absolutely loved every second of it. I would come back in a heartbeat and would love to just camper van around the whole country because I personally cannot choose my favorite spot in this country. I love all parts of Australia that we've seen. I just think it is a magnificent country. Certainly parts of it remind me of Canada with just mm -hmm. better weather. Yeah. And the different types of landscape, the variability, it's just beautiful. Yeah, and I think that is probably the best part of it. It is so incredibly diverse in terms of the landscapes you get to see and what you get to enjoy as a result. All in all, while this has probably been a bit whistle stop as a tour of Australia, then it's definitely given us a real feel and understanding as to what this country is all about and just what it can offer. And it can offer you so much. I think we've actually done a really good job of seeing a significant amount mm -hmm. of the country in a short amount of time. We've really made the best of it. Absolutely. It's been really, really good. But if anything, just having the opportunity to drive around and take in the countryside makes me very, very excited for the next stop on our journey, which we will 100% be taking you on. But in the meantime, let's head to Hobart. And just like that, we've made it to our Airbnb for the night and we will catch up with you tomorrow. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. Hello.